Anything can change with the blink of an eye. Some of you know me because I played with LeBron son. Because the King saw something in me. Then you saw me play and I blew up. I was everywhere. Now they're saying I'm the best 14 year old in the world. Mikey Williams? That kid's got dumps. Mike got up next. He the best in his class. That I'm the next big thing for basketball. But I haven't proven anything yet. I'm Mikey Williams, and this is only the beginning. My name is Mikey Williams, I'm 14. I'm from San Diego. I've just always been around basketball ever since I was a kid. I came from a really athletic family. I've been dribbling a ball since I was like six months old. You know, my mom actually taught me basketball. A lot of people probably think it's my dad, but my mom actually taught me how to dribble, how to shoot, all of that stuff. So I've always known this is what I wanted to do. Past year of my life, I started to blow up, really. Last year, I went to USBA Nationals. Semi-finals, we played blue chips. The game was just like heated. It was all crazy, but we ended up coming out with a dub. After that game, me and Bronny, we was talking, and I was like, we'd be a good duo. And he was like, yeah, I know, you should play with us. So I was like, all right, bet, let's make something happen. It was official, I was playing with them, and I just blew up from there. That's the first time I really experienced like kids uh, asking to take pictures with me, to ask me to get interviewed and all that stuff. Being called the best 14 year old in the world is a lot of pressure. People tell me that I'm better than LeBron. It's kind of crazy thinking about it because it's like LeBron James. Like it's like that's to me that's the greatest player to ever play basketball. But I don't let it get to my head. I kind of just X that stuff out. Before I went to the EBC camp, I had about 2,000 followers. But then after that, I think I did a windmill dunk. Since Vegas, I gained 100,000 followers. And a month and a half ago, I got the blue check and everything's just been going good since then. That ball need to be snapping. Need to be snapping, need to be snapping. If you work on that, you're gonna get where you need to go. My dad started working with me and developing me. When I hit about nine and 10, he started really uh, working with me. When we do our slides in this one, Mike, I want you guys low. I want you low so you can catch, make you move and go. You got it? Mike always kind of wanted to be around older people. I mean, from the day he was born, he was in the gym. That boy stay on the court all night long if you let him. He's, he's trying to get there. Nice shot. I doubt he was a basketball player. Um, he was, people say he was better than me at my age. I was considered top two player in the state of California. He had offers from USC, Arizona, and all that stuff. Everybody in the country recruited me. But the influences around him is what stopped him from proceeding to the next level. I got into the whole gang aspect and uh, ended up getting locked up and uh, did 10 months. You know, made some mistakes in my life, you know what I mean? I've been through some, uh, some tough things, but you know, we all live, we live and we learn. There we go. I think eventually my parents, they had realized they had to do what was best for me, my brother and sister, so we live a better life than they had growing up. Let's go. I think hearing my story, Mikey kind of start becoming a little more mature. You know, we not, he not in here watching Bugs Bunny all the time. I'm not an average kid. I've never really been like the type of kid to want to go swim in the pool, do, do, like, do stuff like that, birthday parties and stuff like that. I used to sleep on an air mattress. I didn't have all the stuff that the average kid would have. Most kids don't have to worry about waking up, don't know if I'm out of food in the morning to eat. I want to better our situation as a family. I'm going to be the first one with the opportunity to change our lives. We need to work on them arms, boy. He actually taking a page out of LeBron's book. He wants to be able to create that same atmosphere for his kid and his parents that LeBron has created for his kids and his parents. I'm the type of person, if I want something, then I'm going to try 
my best to go get it. I'm gonna work hard, do anything it takes to go get it. Ah! Uh, I tell them all the time, you wanna go to the league, you gotta train like you wanna go to the league. Hey. No, I got 10, I need 10. Looking at it right now, I have 40 months until I could possibly be drafted in the NBA. People don't think like that. They think they have all the time in the world. But if you think about it, 40 something months, that's not a long time because life comes at you faster than you think it does. So if everybody wants to know, that's the secret to bounce right there. This machine right here, bro. This machine right here is crazy. I see myself being in the NBA draft. As long as I continue to keep working hard, stay on my grind, X all the bad influences out, I have the opportunity to be the number one draft pick. If he wasn't my son, I would probably tell you that boy gonna be in the league. You know, I just don't like to jinx my own. You know what I mean? Wherever I go, whatever team I get drafted to, I wanna build a legacy there, I wanna win championships there. I want to set an example for a lot of people to look up to me to be better, chase their dreams every day. Life is it's a beautiful struggle. You learn from your mistakes. You learn from everything you do. You learn, and it puts more hunger in you. Shout out to Overtime, baby. It's not just about the games. What do these players do off the court? Let me show you. If you want to see more videos like that, check them out right here and subscribe. Like I said, we'll be off the court with them. Where else you see in this at?